Today I will show you an overview of Pest Friends, an educational strategy game about pest management for two or more players. The goal of the game is to help players learn more about the way insects and other organisms interact with humans and their crops, and how decisions like spraying pesticides affect their field and the ecology within it. One person will take on the role of the moderator. In general, the moderator does not make in-game decisions, but facilitates the game for the other players by carrying out hidden consequences based on the other player's decisions. The other player or players will take on the role of pest managers working together as a team. They will have to make tough decisions about how to manage insects living in their field using a limited number of actions and money. At the end of the game, the pest manager will score points based on how healthy their final crop is and how much money they have spent. To set up the game, the moderator selects a scenario. Each scenario includes information about the crop being used and what types of organisms may enter the field and how they affect the crop and other organisms. This bag represents the field. For this scenario, the player starts with 20 healthy crop tiles, representing the maximum harvest potential of the field. Over time, these crops may become damaged or even devastated, resulting in yield loss. Throughout the game, insects and other organisms will enter the field and interact with each other and change the composition of the field. This information will be hidden to the players unless they make decisions to investigate. Now let's look at the play area. Here we have an area with a round summary summarizing what happens in each round, and over here we have the month tracker showing us the rounds of the game in which players will have to make decisions between planting and harvest of their crop. This diagram in the corner shows us how end game scoring is calculated based on how healthy the plants are in the field at the end. This area or the bank is where players will keep their money which they will use to take certain actions. At the end of the game, this money will be added to their final score if they didn't have to use it. In this scenario, the highest possible score is having $99 at the end of the game. This would mean that players made wise decisions and had all healthy crops at the end. It is also possible for players to get a score of $0 at the end, meaning that their entire crop was devastated and they used up all of their money in management decisions. Now let's look at how each round or month will work in the game. At the beginning of each month, some insects move into the field. Afterwards, the pest managers are ready to decide how to use their time and money. For each month, players may take two actions of their choice. They can do the same action twice if they like. Some actions may have a cost associated with them as indicated in the bottom right corner of the card. Pest managers can also take an additional third action each month, but this requires hiring out extra labor and costs $1 extra to use beyond the normal cost of an action. Here is how the actions work for this scenario. If a player scouts, then they will draw five tokens from the field represented by the bag. They may look at those tokens and use this information to influence their decisions. If a player finds something in their field that they are unfamiliar with, they can research that specimen. By researching a specimen, the players will be given a document detailing information about the organism's biology, how it might affect the field, and management techniques. If players are worried about their lunar wheat taking heavy damage, they can irrigate the crop an extra time, which will help one damaged plant recover and become healthy again. If players would like, they can apply pesticides to their field. The pesticide cards have a label with specific rules and regulations connected to them, and players should always read and follow the label. If the players break a pesticide law, they will be potentially punished in-game. If the players would like to earn some extra money, they can carry out the custom farming action which represents you taking your equipment to work in another farmer's field for a period and earning some money for your labor. Players can also take a portion of their lunar wheat and rent it out to another farmer to use for grazing livestock. This sacrifices six crop tiles from your field, but you earn half of what you would at the end of the game, gaining the money immediately. If a player scouts then chooses to scout again, they can leave the tiles they pulled out already and draw another set of five tiles. If any other action follows scouting, the tiles are returned to the bag immediately. Almost all actions will influence the field and organisms within it. As the players take actions, the moderator will be carrying out the consequences of those actions and keep track of what is happening with insect populations and the field. For example, when a pesticide is used, this may kill some or all insects in a field. 
and it's the moderator's job to carry out these changes without the player knowing. Each organism in the scenario will have its own qualities and traits. For example, some insects may be sensitive to humidity, so irrigating extra affects their reproduction. Others may be killed when the field is grazed. Some insects can even build up resistance to certain types of pesticides which lose their effectiveness after multiple uses. At the end of each round, the moderator will carry out insect feeding and reproduction by looking at all the tiles in the bag. Some insects will be predators and eat other insects, removing them from the field. Others will feed on the crop, causing damage based on the population. After feeding, all remaining insects will reproduce and increase in numbers in the field based on their individual traits. Each round, insects will colonize the field, players will take actions, and insects will feed and reproduce. Once all rounds are completed, the players will be told what their score is, and the moderator will walk them through what happened over the course of the game. The moderator may also keep track of insect numbers at the end of each round using a spreadsheet system like this to show the players what happened to the populations of each insect over time. And that is how Pest Friends is played. Each scenario will contain different concepts and principles to teach learners about integrated pest management. To learn more about this game, which is still under development, please send an email to jasont at uidaho.edu.